Hello, and welcome to Annual Pools How-To Guide section. In this video, we will go over the steps that are necessary to maintain a saltwater pool. There are many benefits to operating a saltwater pool, including softer water, lower cost of operation, and no chloramines. Although there is less maintenance required with a saltwater system, there are still steps required to maintain a stable pool. Step one, perform weekly tests. Free chlorine and pH should be tested on a weekly basis in your saltwater pool. The water can be tested using test strips or by a drop test kit. The free chlorine level should be one to three parts per million. The chlorine can be adjusted by the output control on the control box or cell. The pH should be maintained at 7.2 to 7.6. The pH can be lowered with muriatic acid or raised with soda ash or sodium bicarbonate. Please review your owner's manual for specific ideal levels. Step two, perform monthly tests. Salt, alkalinity, stabilizer, and calcium should be tested on a monthly basis. Once again, Water can be tested using test strips or by a drop test kit. Please review your owner's manual for specific ideal levels and make adjustments accordingly. Note, most salt chlorinators will display a salt reading. However, it is a good practice to test the salt yourself in case the salt chlorinator needs to be recalibrated. Step three, inspect salt cell. To maintain maximum performance, it is recommended that you open and visually inspect the cell every three months. Most salt chlorinators will remind you to do this by flashing the inspect cell light on the control box. Once removed, inspect the inside of the cell for scale buildup or any debris that may have bypassed the filter. If no deposits are visible, reinstall. If deposits are seen, use a high pressure garden hose and try to flush the scale off. If this is not successful, use a plastic or wood tool and scrape deposits off the plates. If flushing and scraping are unsuccessful, a mild acid wash will be required. Most manufacturers suggest a four to one ratio of water to muriatic acid. Always add acid to water and never water to acid. Pour the solution into a container to a level where the solution will reach the top of the cell, but not the cable. The cell should soak for a few minutes and then be rinsed off with a garden hose. Reinstall cell once it is cleaned. Please refer to your owner's manual for specific instructions. Step four, winterize salt chlorinator. To winterize the salt chlorinator, most manufacturers recommend that the flow switch and salt cell be removed from the plumbing and stored inside away from the elements. There are dummy cells available that can go in place of the real salt cell during the winter months. The control box can withstand freezing temperatures and can remain installed. For warmer climates, where winterizing is not necessary, run the pump continuously if a freeze is expected. This concludes our guide on maintaining saltwater pools. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us toll free at 1-877-372 6038 or visit us online at www.annualpools.com.